Welcome back, welcome back. I know you miss, know you miss, know you miss. Speed, 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 speed. Oh, that's perfect. Brother, play through it. Bye. You see what they don't? They say what they want. This is an official business. Welcome back, welcome back. I know you miss me. It's Coach P, a.k.a. John Doe, one half of the unofficial assistant coaches. You might know me as Coach Oops. Honorary Uso. Shout out to Coach Nitty. Out there on those recruiting trails trying to bring me in yet another big-time wide receiver. And we got a big-time wide receiver tonight. Shout out to Coach B. Shout out to Coach D. This is Coach P, a.k.a. John Doe. Welcome to Unofficial Biz. Hey, before we get started, shout out to Cam Robinson last week. Big time left tackle just got that big check. NFL, NFL legend, in it, uh, Alabama legend, soon to be NFL legend, holding it down for the left side. But we go switch positions this week. Like I said, shout out to Need out there trying to bring me in my third receiver from the transport portal. But we got a different receiver in the house tonight. You know, uh, like they said, people only people is only as good as people can remember. So I know right now a lot of people put a lot of emphasis. On the saving era version of the wide receivers at Alabama. And that's, you know, deservingly so. Saving them brought in some of the nastiest dog. At a, at, a, at a run first school, smash mouth football. Yeah, that's Alabama. That's us. That's tradition. And saving them brought in some of the baddest. I'm talking about this wide receiver, you basically. Let's just roll over some of these names we got. First of all, how you doing over there, Coach D? No, you done probably didn't mute good. yourself. I'm let, doing let, good, let Coach me talk to you. Since I ain't got my man Coach Nitt in here, let me let me let me talk to you about these receivers. First of all, before I even get there, since we talking receiver, no more on the Jai Hall. Like I said, that was my guy. He's 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 banned from the show until we get over there and can lay some so lay some wood on him. He's through. You know <laughs> what I'm right. saying? How you gonna speak? How you gonna compare Texas fans and Bama fans? Like you really know those folks. You don't know Texas fans yet. How you going to speak on what they – you can't compare them to us. You don't know them They'll at tell all, you coach. anything to get you over there. You go over there and pull the same crap you pulled on us, they going to treat you the same way or worse. Don't diss Alabama because we don't like divas. Yeah, we like people to come in and work just because you – over here, this platform can put you right to the NFL the next season. You only need one good season. You got to work over here. If you just coming over here trying to get on ASAP and, and go straight about your – it ain't going to work. You can come in a – a big time recruit. Give me somebody like Deshaun Hand, number one player in the nation according to to rivals. Yet and still, he still had to wait his time all the way to his senior year to get some playing time at Alabama, and he stuck around. Absolutely, coach. Absolutely. If you want to send him some mail right now, you need to send it to him in the NFL. <laughs> he ain't go elsewhere and give up his spot and drop in the draft eighteen more slots. I don't want to hear nothing else about a Jai Hall. I don't even usually wish injuries on people, but I'm going to tell you right now. A Jai Hall, you can get it. When he get off his bus at one of these stops, I hope that last bus step, soon as that foot touched the ground, crack! <laughs> I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear nothing else on the Jai Hall. I want to hear his ankle smack soon as he get off the bus. I don't want to hear nothing else on him. But since we talking receivers, Oh man, I got one for you tonight. Like Roy Jones said, you must have forgot. Must have forgot. Hope y'all must have forgot. Pre-saving era. This is smash mouth football. Run first football. Let me see if you remember some of these names, Coach. What you know about Freddie Millis? Dog. We had some good names. AC Carter, Deuce in the house. We had some names coming to the show soon. Shout out to AC Carter. Super Bowl champion DeAndre White. Oh, we got some receivers now. NFL receiver Cam Sims. Yes, sir. Robert Foster, number two receiver in high school coming out. My boy Marquise, Marquise, Marquise Mays from Birmingham. Also key on that punt return. Shout out to Keister. 10th all time in yards. Oh, we got some receivers. But like I said, this was a run first school. And let's definitely not forget my favorite of all time, Mr. Not my favorite receiver, but my favorite Bama player. Move over, Tua. You already, I already talked to you, Tua, who's my favorite. 
David Palmer, baby, if we talking some real receivers, I'm talking about a receiver that'll go back there and play quarterback, then put him in that running back. The deuce is loose. The deuce is loose. And I saw it. Don't get me started. That's my guy. But okay, let's 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 bring it more present day. We ain't gonna start back all the way back, odds and news and seventies and all that. We gonna start present day. Let's pick it up with Julio Jones, the cat, the captain, a wide receiver. You, who we can pretty much say we owe all this stardom to. Julio made it cool to come to a run first school as a wide receiver. Julio could have went to Oklahoma State, Oklahoma, Florida, Florida State. Texas, uh, anywhere out here slanging that ball every play and did his thing. This man came down here to a run first school where we got nothing but game managing quarterbacks and made it cool for the next guy, such as Amari Cooper, yes, Calvin sir. Ridley, Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddle. Woo! Devontae Smith, Mr. Heisman himself. Whew, boy, Don't boy, sleep boy. on the Darius Stewart. Shout out to that Alabama bread. Man, you can hide Henry with that with the seed and the awesome hand. John Metch even came through and did his thing for me. We had a lot of fire names. We usually go to the bottom of Florida, to the very bottom, to get that wide receiver heat. <laughs> but this one from the north, baby. North Florida, the top of Florida, that 850 area. And rewrote all the receiving records at my current side, Alabama. Shout out to the Nick Saban All Stars, but we talking pre saving baby. That's the number one. That's the one and only two time All SEC first team selection. DJ, bad to the bone, Hall, the legendary Deuce Deuce. Ladies and gentlemen, DJ Hall is in the building. I got to go over some of these records before I put them on this mic. I got to talk to you real quick, coach. Before I before I get this man on here and bust him down, I got to talk to you, coach. Listen to this, man, because cause people forgot. I done read out all those names. Whew, that's, a, that's a fine list of names for a running school, first of all. But let's just go to these records. And I'm a, and I'm a, I'm a when I give you these records, I'm going to put an asterisk. Listen to why I put these asterisks. Just check this out. Bring them to me. Let's go, let's go with most yards of all time. Alabama. Devontae Smith, number one. Let's put an asterisk by that. Amari Cooper, number two. And DJ Hall, number three. Remember, I got an asterisk by those first two, right? Oh, I know why. Let's go. Let, let's go. Let's go career reception. Devontae Smith, one. Amari Cooper, two. Calvin Ridley, three. DJ Hall, four. Let's put an asterisk by one through three. I know why. Let's go. Let's go all-time touchdowns. Julio, number 10. But on that list, you got Devontae, number one. Amari, number two. Judy, three. Ruggs, four. Dennis Holman, that's 1965. DJ Hall is, on, is number seven on the all-time touchdown list. And like I said, Julio is number 10. Let's go to this stat right here. This is a, this a, a fun stat right here. Receptions in the game. DJ Hall was tied for first with Amari Cooper, who had two games of 13 catches. DJ Hall had one game of 13. That was later broken by, of course, Devontae Smith. Like I said, DJ was tied at number one. But what's crazy about that, even though it was broken, what's crazy about that, not only was D, before that record was broken, not only was DJ number one, <laughs> the man was also, he was tied for number one and tied for number two. I'm sorry, he was, he was tied for number one, three, and four. Talk to him, so only David Bailey with 12 and Julio with 12 tied for 12. Otherwise, if, if they went, if they didn't do that, DJ Hall has number one, two, and three before Devontae broke the single, the single game receiving record. People don't remember that. They just thinking, okay, yeah, he snapped by having the number one record 
which was later broken, but he also was tied with three and four. This this during a smash mouth era, ladies and gentlemen. This is when it didn't matter. The receiver for real is about who told that ball. The quarterback didn't matter. We wasn't looking for no Peyton Manners at this time. We don't need no tour, tongue of our Lord. Mac Jones. We don't need no Bryce Young. Smash mouth. But of course, that tradition was falling out. That worked for us in the past. But you see, Saban came in here with a new recipe. And it took him a little, it took Saban a little dibbing and dabbing to find out, you know, because we were finna be stuck with that dinosaur offense even when Saban came in time. But we end up getting it right. Now imagine my boy DJ Hall, Mr. Hall, playing in one of these offenses. You got to think. DJ Hall and them, they have they have like 25 to 3,500 yard seasons. I mean careers. These guys like we like Jameson caught like 1,500 yards in one year this year. And that's with another elite receiver. If y'all want to call Mitchell that, because he was the A receiver when we came in. Mitchell was the number one receiver. Yet and still, we still had another 1,500 yard receiver. So imagine DJ Hall playing with some of these big time quarterbacks and some of these systems, the Lane Kiffin system. Or, scary, or, or just having yeah. some of these guys like Tool that can put it on the money. We're talking 8,000 yard season. Who knows? <laughs> Let's be for real. This man was on every record out there as far as receive. This was crazy. Out of all these receivers that's coming in, out of all these receivers, not one person is breaking all the records like he did. Outside of Devontae Devante Smith is making, uh, of course, is doing that. But everybody's going at specific records. Everybody getting their shit. This person broke this record. This person broke this record. This person broke that record. This person broke these two records. Hall had all of them. He had all of them, Coach B. He had all of them during an era where passing was not our forte. Did you hear all those names I ran off? Oh, those are pretty decent names. And you gonna tell me this guy was doing these numbers before it was he? I, I hated to see that boy in the rock star system that we got these days. Oh, let's get another. Oh man, we don't even want to go with that. But uh, I, wait no more. Let's hey, let me get you to uh, unmute that button, Mister Hall. Mister Bad to the ball. Eight fifty is on. Drum roll, please. Eight fifty is on. Like like Roy Jones said. Like oh, like Florida oh, name Roy Jones say. You must have forgot. Da, 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 you must have forgot. The man right here. <laughs> <laughs> what they do, fellas, man. I appreciate oh, you. Man. Oh, man. Hey. I appreciate hey, it. Hey, I be telling people you will have lie. to jump through 30 loops and have 1,500 connections and a lot of money in your back pocket to come up with a boss like Hall. Hey. hey you got Listen. to know somebody who knows somebody <laughs> to pull up somebody. <laughs> Hey, I'm trying to tell them. <laughs> hey, my hey, my own mama just told me. She said, "Son, I got a better chance of getting in touch with the president." <laughs> <laughs> well, when the coaches call go, you, baby. you pick up the phone when the coaches call you. <laughs> I ain't never been late to no meeting. Hey, first of all, this is not um, this is not a stretch. Everything I meant, I said. I want to welcome you to the show. I want to give you a big shout out, uh, Hall, for everything you did. And like I say, everything I speak on is is dealing with the Crimson Tide. So shout out to everything that you got going on before and after Alabama. But you know, my sole focus is those years of domination in Title Town, man. Yes, sir. That's yes, what I'm sir. here to talk about. Let's do it. Let's do that. Hey, so one thing about it, out of all the guests. We got a we got a five list of guests lined up. You the second. Shout out to uh Cam Robinson kicked it off, and uh we should have OJ Howard next year, uh, next uh week, next Thursday. But out of all these cats that we got, you are the only one. If I'm not mistaken, I think Hall is the only one that can speak pre saving and current saving coaching staff. At Alabama, if I'm not mistaken, out of all the guests we got, we got people that he, that, that was either there before Saban or after Saban. I think you might be the only 
who took us and t- who who was there for both sides of the thing. Hey, I love being the first. You know that. So now this one thing. Let me let me ask you this to start it off, DJ. Let's do it. What was the difference in that Shula era? And that and when Saban came to town, this is what everybody be wanting to know. Cause you know, we look at Saban like a real deal hero. Like a real deal cartoon that come on Saturday mornings back in the eighties type hero. And we, we just want to know how if, if I, I already tell people if you played in Saban area era, it, 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 I don't even that's a whole nother ball game. But you just tell me what was the difference between that Saban, that Shula. And that Saban, cause I cause you told me before, from the party status to the serious status, how did everything change in T Town in 2007? Well, look, first off, let me tell you this. And this this ain't even got nothing to do with on the field. I'm gonna tell you what the difference is. The okay. difference is when, when Mike Sula was there, the club closed at 5 a.m. When Saban was there, last call was 2 a.m. Woo! So we, you got to start okay. there if you feel if you catch my drill. I got you. You feel me? Exactly. So 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 that alone, you know, you you get what I'm trying to oh, say. Oh yeah. You go from hanging out to six in the morning to you know you in the house by two thirty. You know it. You know, and and save and change that himself. You feel me? Gotcha. You telling me saving personally made it to well. All listen. these clubs got to do that because he knowing all these these players and stuff go part. Saban listen, came in there and really changed the club structure himself. Bro, I ain't finna sugarcoat you nothing today, bro. This ain't had nothing to do with no mayor, Tuscaloosa, no damn, no sheriff department. Hold up, but I, if we talking mayor, Tuscaloosa, that is Saban. Bro, I knew all these people. I, I knew the uh, head sheriff. I knew all these folks. These people told me personally. Nick Saban wants y'all in the house by 2 a.m. Woo! And it was you that. Say, you said the mayor of Tuscaloosa, that is Saban. Bruh, come on now. So, I, 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 I take it from that because you, you got to understand, like, Alabama, I don't care what nobody say. I done been to everywhere, Florida State, Florida, LSU. I took all them visits, Penn State, Ohio State. But when it come to Bama and partying, don't nobody do it like us. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, oh yeah, you know those days, and I remember back then, that's the number one school in the nation. I remember it was a big article on that. That was around our, that was around our time down there. So I know exactly what you're talking about. They had a big article on Playboy calling us the number two party school in the nation. I never forget that. Right. So you you think about it when you when you got 17, 18, 19 year old kids who finally get away from their parents and, and they, right. they able to just be free without no curfews or nothing. And, and, and you tell them they ain't got to be in the house till five, six in the morning. You you get what you catch my drill. Oh, yeah, I catch every, I, I'm catching all that. I had a, 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 a signal delay, but yeah, I'm hearing everything you say. I'm, 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 I'm definitely hearing you on that. Yeah. But, but at the, at the same time, I ain't finna and when we wanna talk on the field, now I ain't gonna take nothing from 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 uh the Saber era and all that. You know what I'm saying? I, I respect everything they brought to the table and what they do. But when it comes to that Shula, you gotta understand Shula, we have three of them, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Man. When, when it when it, when it comes to competing and all that stuff and hard work, people can say what they want to about Shula, but that was never the issue. Cause we bro, with Shula, we 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 go by periods at practice, bro. We'll be on practice have twenty one periods. We'll be on period nineteen. Let one person mess up, Shula started over, bro. Mm. All the way over, back to stretch. So you telling me why all these players going to? Hey, we get exclusives over here on on the official bid. So you telling me? That all these players going to the pros talking about how hard it is at Bama and this and that with the saving program. You say it was just as hard when Shula was down? Bruh, listen, listen what I'm telling you, bruh. Shula, yeah, and 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 in the defense of the saving era too, the NCAA had a lot to do with it. 
they had to, you know, they came in. Yeah, they started clamping down on the Right, things. right. Y'all can't be out here this long and that long. Mm -hmm. So in the save of defense, now I get at to him. Yeah, we're I remember sure that. I remember that. that. We didn't we didn't right. really have all that. You know what I'm saying? So it was it was uh it was real smash mouth. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So as gotcha. far as the difference, man, it wouldn't know if you want to speak on different eras, but like you said, y'all know it better than me, man. We we smash mouth. That was ground and pound. And I'm, and I'm going to tell y'all like this, and, and shout out to my receiver, Coach Charlie Harvison, when I was there. But in, in shout all, out, shout out. And in the, in the keep it real, bro, that man was a, a, a DB coach. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. He was a he was a safety coach. He he was he was at LSU before that uh, a DB right. coach. Right. Yeah. They, they so, be switching them like that. Yeah. You might have an old line coach that was a middle linebacker so, coach somewhere. I'd be like, how is they doing this? But yeah, right, go ahead. Right. So so me tell you this as a receiver, why am why are we doing tackling drills? You get what I'm saying? Wow. Why are we on our back doing gauntlet and Oklahoma drills? Right, right. Yeah, instead of doing, I got you. Instead of doing blind ball drills or uh, high and tight and stuff like that. Yeah. Right, right. That's why I said it could a lot of, ooh, <clears throat> oh man, that, that, that whole era of football, you know, we still had our expectations of just being a traditional team and all that. But like, you know, we it, 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 it was obvious on the field, on the results that everything went, I mean, we could tell it went, we can tell you we can tell you the receivers was doing stuff like tackling drills and we can tell the other positions was doing the wrong thing too because of the 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 outcomes. You see Facts. what I'm saying? Cuz we Facts. still had the outcome we still had the mind frame that we Alabama ain't about to line up versus us we should win. And right. we we just went doing it and now players like you coming and giving us the inside scoop no wonder. You got receivers out here doing tackling drills. It ain't no telling what the DB is doing. Bro, come on now. The middle linebackers probably out there throwing 50 yard balls. Come on now. Like they call the best. Like, what are we doing? Bro. That's why I say if, you, if a lot of your if a lot of the talented guys from your era played in that much more polished structure, process style format that Saban broke. Oh man, it would have been crazy. This, this one thing I'm gonna give Saban them credit for, bro. They know how to develop. And I ain't saying the coaching staff with Shula didn't know how to do that, but I'm saying that my at, at the receiver position, you had to you had to pretty much get it in yourself because we didn't have the 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 you know what I'm saying like like I said right because there's not no the one certain blueprint that everybody teaching in a position around the college right you might be at a school that and your and your your coaching staff at your position might not know nothing about what's really supposed to be going. It ain't like just because we got, just like right now, our old line coach, it ain't no guarantee that he really know what he's doing. Just right. like Saban bringing him all the top tier old linemen. He might be doing some 1970 drills that ain't worked in 40 years. We don't know. Facts. And and that and that's all I'm trying to do. Like now these kids are so developed that they they might have two, three wide receiver coaches. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 one, right trying to do it all and it wasn't until AC Carter was able to come in the room and 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 teach us how to be a receiver bro you get, you get what I'm saying because because at first he was still trying to play he still had like a year or two right but when he got hurt again he was finally like you know I'm gonna do the coaching thing now AC Carter was the single Best thing that happened to me at Alabama, bro. And I'm just gonna shout out to AC. Cool, cool. Cause we we got him soon, and we go we go definitely we go we go definitely remind him that you said that if he ain't listening now. Yes, sir. Bro. Remind him. Shout out to AC. Yes, sir, bro. Shout who out. Who was your him, top bro. teammate on the? All right, who who was your top teammate during the? Uh, as far as at your same position, who was your top wide receiver teammate and your top non-position teammate at Bama during your state? Let's see. Well, I hung with probably eight people every day, eight to nine people every day, every single day. But as far as receiver, I hung with Matt Cadell and Keith Brown the most because they was my roommates. Keith was my roommate just in dorm rooms. And during the game, Matt Cadell was my roommate. And, and Matt was the one who was the host on my visit. 
Gotcha, gotcha. I remember Mac. Shout out to Mac. Yeah, yeah. Definitely remember Keith with the speed. Them boys was a Matt was a big reason why I, why I came to Belmont. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, okay. That one of the first per, first people I met through you. Shout out to Matt. Yes, sir. All right, let's let's get uh. Should we start sending them to this hot seat, Coach? Uh, you got anything you want to ask him? No, I don't think we got to send him to the hot seat yet. Um, <laughs> not yet. So, hey, DJ, I got a question. Um, What's up, Witch? When? How, what was what was going through your mind when um, you had those thirteen catches against Tennessee? Can you can you elaborate on like the floor of the game, or you just felt good when you woke up that morning? Did you do anything different? Just just uh, walk us through it. I'm a, well. I'm gonna be real with you. Before you know, like I don't know how these athletes nowadays do it, but back in the day, boy, real athletes, we ain't get no sleep. We ain't get no sleep before the game. I, I mean, I, I probably got six hours of sleep before every game. I just, I couldn't sleep. I was too like, I used to dream about touchdowns and doing all this and that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like Tennessee. They, you know, you know, back in them days, all SEC teams were full fledged man cover. Right. Y'all know that. That's all you was. That's all you saw, man cover. They feel. SEC. They feel. They had the athletes. You right. Exactly, exactly. So, as a man, it's just like you—you you don't let nobody one on one. Ain't nobody supposed to guard you. That's period point. Right. Blank. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just how it is. Like I used to tell people when, when I used to catch balls on people, and they used to be like a oh, good catch hall, like like opponents. They think I'm finna shake their hand back or something. I, I say, bro, my mama at the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I ain't. Like my my mama really watched the game, bro. My mama was one of them people. Like she, my mama a real athlete, so she say, "Uh, DJ, uh, yeah, you caught a good couple passes, but I seen you missed that block. Uh, that that uh, Ooh. boy could have scored. Ken Darby would have got that block. That's hey, cold. can I can, can I pause you real quick? Oh, cause you just boy, you, you know you got a real one over there. Cause my mom was the same way. My mom, no matter how many points I game, no matter how many points game I can have on a basketball game, my mom would come up to me like. But how do you miss a free throw? Okay. How you, I'm like, but what okay. about the dunk in the two threes in the in the in the backwards layup? <laughs> like they my mom, free. You should miss points. free throws. They free. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> they, they, that's a real one for you though. On you. Want yes, the best sir. for you. Want the best for you. So when it's like, man with the story. When, when you in that mode, it's just like I guess you you know like y'all y'all P he, coach P basketball guy. You know what I'm saying? You you know like. You good on the court, but but when you had them days where you just can't miss, that be somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Right. You just, you just be possessed. Like, y'all just I don't care what I do. I can't do nothing wrong. You right. You know what I'm saying? And like, yeah, you was on fire. like that, when, when you got your your quarterback looking at you, he say, hey, man, get open. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It it come from the team, man, because they inspire you. They like, bro, we need you. And all them games was close. So it's just Ooh. like – you Someone know they gotta go to their go-to player when them things close. Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Me, I, you gotta talk about it. I don't, you know, talk about it, be about it. You know what I'm saying? So, so during during that game right there, did the quarterback ever say, "Hey, I'm gonna keep feeding you"? Did y'all make any extra eye contact? Did he? You know, you got all the receivers on your team. Did he hit you on the low on your thigh and be like, "Hey, I'm coming at you, man," because. I see you working, guy over there. Did he give you any notion to say, "I'm finna hit you with this many attempts"? Listen, this many targets. Check this out. It, 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 you might not believe this, but he did do that. But I'm gonna tell you why he why he would do that. And not only on that game, multiple games, right? And I'm and I'm talking about John Parker Wilson. That he he was the one I had the 13 catches with. Right, right. But prior to that, it was me and Brody, right? Right, right. Against the same team, Tennessee, right? Right. I had 12 catches, but Listen, on the on the on the tenth catch, it was it was uh fourth what they was in the fourth quarter by like two minutes to go. It was third and nine, my boy. We get to the huddle, and Brody look at me in front of the whole team and say, I don't care what happens, I need you to get open. I'm coming to you. Ooh. Mm. This third and nine now. This third and nine, two minutes to right. go. And we we down, bro. Bro, when I tell you he dropped back and throw that ball, when I tell you that ball got big as a watermelon, ain't no way I was going to drop 
ain't that ain't the one you had the big catches. Yes, sir, on that sideline. Oh man. That was a third down. That was third and nine, my boy. That show was third down. Yes, sir. And I'm telling you, that that moment right there, it's like I it's like when I when I be coaching these kids and I tell these kids they be trying to act like they did this and that. I say, bro, you ain't even had no moment yet. What right? What is your moment? You get what I'm right. saying? Like the great ones have a moment where was somebody mm -hmm. depended on them to do something and they showed up. What's your moment? You ain't got no moment, my boy. Right. Right. Luckily, I oh, you know, cause, I, cause, cause I'm on field just cause they athletic and they got skills that they entitled to already having a moment without a moment. Right. I, my, mo my moment is me. I, 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 I fought to start. I fought to get all the stardom. I fought to get the praises from the fans. I fought to get the the, the 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 name money that you can get money for your name and card. And I fought to get all that because I'm because I am me. I ain't but did see, nothing yet. But see, you, you gotta played a bunch of players in your area that ain't even on your level and got you looking good. And now you get up here versus a lot of other people that's on your level and you can't manage. You want to go to you, a smaller school where you can stand out now. But you got to understand. You got to understand why they do that. They they already they already come in prima donna like they, they Oh yeah, I call athletes. them diva. You get what I'm saying? Me, I was a three I was a three star. You get what I'm saying? Right. I won and this another thing. I won practice player of the year. My freshman year, sophomore year, and junior year. And it shows in the stat books, but go ahead. But this is what I'm saying. Like, so I had to learn how to get better. Y'all, y'all, they already came in running four threes and doing right. all this. I had, right. to, I had to learn how to get better. Yeah, you That's told me that I, story on how even other receivers are telling you how your, your hand work on not letting people jam you at the line and all that. Exactly. I'm talking about you told me that years ago. And and that's what I'm telling you. And, and that's what that's one of the things I tell you. I had to give my shout out to AC because AC right. say, he used to tell me like, bro, you know, it's easier ways to get open. And I ain't understand what he was meaning by that. You know, I'm just thinking a couple shakes and just run hard as I right. can, not knowing that if I slap his hand down, I can just get past him real quick. Right, you know I mean? right. You ain't thinking all that. No, I ain't thinking all that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now imagine what now imagine it's just like the Kobe Bryant Jordan effect. Now imagine all the now imagine what the guys like you say these days can see, especially with YouTube and all that. So now you got all the receivers who done did all this stuff. Now the newer ones can come just like Kobe and study all that, put it in their repertoire, mixed with the blessings and the skills they already got, which might be speed, hands, or route running. You were able to look at another person and see, you know, and just like you say, you already come to you already come to college. Like you almost NFL ready. Some of them is right. Because right, they already it's easier to study your predecessors. And that's what I was gonna ask you too. Who did you study uh, coming into Alabama before you got to Alabama in your high school? Who was your favorite receiver? And then when you actually got to Alabama, did you start noticing other people that's in the league or some that might be somebody you want to look up to to carry your skills to the, to that next level? Pre Alabama no and when you was at Alabama. When I before I got to Belmont, I ain't gonna lie. Me being in Florida, bro, I ain't gonna lie. All I knew was Peter Ward, bro. Okay, he, I feel that's that. That's all I knew. Oof. That's but all you got to understand. Like, was, I, I was, hate to cut you off one more time. <laughs> I'll ahead. tell you three receivers. Go ahead. That, that Coach P love regardless. That's Rocket Ismail, Peter Ward, and Randy Moss. Far as far as the uh, college situation, right. So I was big, Peter, you know, I, I call out Peter Warwick name all the time in the videos with that dead leg. Right. So, you know, I already know about him, but go ahead. So don't think you violating by saying a nun Bama per You get a pass for that. Yeah, now, yeah. That, and, and, that what I'm, and see, that's what I'm trying to say, because he was the one who really was like, you know, put me in that. Because because in, in middle school, I played running back, bro. So, okay. Because I was just bigger than everybody, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. When I got to high school, I was still finna play running back, but I used to go to the Florida State games all the time because I was just cool with certain people. But gotcha. when I started watching him, I'm like, man, I, I, I used to look like, man, I want to do that. But me being taller and not an idiot, I used to tell myself I can't cut like that, though. Gotcha, you know what gotcha. I'm saying? I used to be like, I used to tell people I can't do that. I tear bone in my body trying to do that. Right. I can't right. do that. So I got to find another way to get open. So instead of me doing all the footwork and all that, I, I used to go to like 
I used to uh watch Jerry Rice clips, right? Because people don't know Jerry Rice ran a four six at the combine. Right, right. right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that's my that's my favorite receiver all time, and I do know that. You right. Right, exactly. So I used to sit back and be like, okay, I can't cut like these folk, but Jerry Rice killing everybody, and he run four. And ain't the fastest. I, I got to figure out what's going on. So, mm hmm. It, it route routes became more tactician. You get what I'm saying? Like right, right, right. Creating separation is what I right. used to call. It, you know, right. I feel that's the same thing with Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup ain't that fast, but it's like they just can't stop him. Right. Exactly. It's not even that fast. And and another and another thing with that, I got to give a shout out to Brody Crawl for that because when I got the Bama, he used to say, "Hall, stop running paper routes. Stop." Running paper routes. I I didn't I'm like what you mean? The route on the paper tell me to go fifteen back to twelve. I'm finna run it fifteen back to twelve. I he got say, you. He say, okay, well think about it like this, Hall. Let's say it's third and six. And the route say run it and the route say go eight to ten yards. And it's third and six. And he said, you take that fifth step and, and it's open. Is you gonna keep running them nine yards? Right, and right. Like Damn, that makes right. no sense. Right. So right. He, he say, stop running how I look on paper and, and run routes to get open. Right, right. That makes so much sense. And I and I know exactly what you was doing as the receiver. Like you said, like like you said, paper right, you were doing how it's supposed to be done right. instead of but he like improvised with with common sense. <laughs> right. Right. Hey, exactly. ain't no need to run all the way that they go and cut that thing short yeah, and go get what we but, need. Yeah. But you gotta understand this these things I'm trying to do do perfect because I'm trying to come in and you know get on get on the good foot. I ain't trying right, to come right, right. Right. You trying you know to do saying? a textbook style, the, the correct, the the correct, literally the correct way. Right. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Brody for that, man. I, I love him for that. Gotcha. Speaking of quarterbacks. Uh oh. In this new era. Hot seat time. Let's get it. Come on with it. In this new era, I ain't got to name the options. You can pick any one of them. It ain't got to be the top three. It ain't got to be the bottom three. Exclude the quarterbacks you played for. You might got a, 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 a everlasting bond and love with them. So exclude right. them guys. Right. And you tell me, coming back to Bama right now, you can bring any one of these quarterbacks with you. Who you bringing with you? And it ain't um, no slack to nobody else. I just need to know who DJ Hall, record breaking stat stud, is bringing Alabama with him to start it all over again. Bro, you, you want to know what's crazy? You can give me Blake Sims, bro. Ooh, man. D, D throw Blake? You, you can give me Blake Sims, but one thing about it, he ain't care nothing about nothing, bro. He's he going to give you a chance. That's all I need is a chance. Okay. Okay. It ain't no I right or wrong else over here, fellas. So, hey, I'm with it. You give me you Blake say, you, him, you finna go to the ship with my boy Blake. Hey, right, man. You give me Blake, because like I said, me and Blake gonna come to that huddle, and he gonna say, he gonna say, Hall, I need it. And I'm gonna say, bro, I got you. Okay, let me ask you this then. We got Blake at quarterback. We got, we excluding everybody from your area that you, that you walked on the field with. Who's that other receiver that you got on the other side from you that you that you that you believe in to help you win this game with your boy Blake? Oh, give me uh give me Julio, bro. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Tell you why, oh, bro, cause people people don't know this, bro, but Julio my favorite Bama receiver, bro. Simply hey, look, but let me tell let me tell you like this. Julio is just like you. He played in an era where we couldn't really shine on receivers. So I'm gonna tell you this: Julio is unfair in this situation. Julio don't count. But That's listen, like, but listen though. Let me tell you why I picked. I him. can't even allow you to say Julio. Bro, Not today. Let me let me tell you why. I That's picked almost him, too easy, ho. But but listen though, I'm gonna tell you why I, why he my favorite, bro. It ain't even because of the field shit, bro. Stuff. My bad. I ain't mean to cuss on you. No, him, talk to me. Let's go, <laughs> bro. This this man, Julio. Showed me what it really like, and this is me being done with with college. Even when my next step to the New York Giants, I used to come back right. and watch him practice, bro. He showed me what like a real receiver gotta do 
this man ain't he wasn't no real partier. He didn't drink. He didn't do all that other extra stuff. Right. The, the man was a football player, bro. Like, right. He drunk Gatorade and water, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Focus. So that's what that that's what I mean as far as like why he was my favorite. Now you talking on some foxhole. I need a warrior with me. Exactly. And then not to say he ain't that. You know, he everything. Yeah, yeah, he everything. That's the problem. So we we can't even we I I, I meant to exclude him from the jump. Excluding your teammates okay. and also the great Julio Jones. Who you got? Oh. Oh. That's what I needed to hear. I oh, needed to hear tough. you say, oh. That's a stop. That's what I needed to hear. Julio was too easy. I need you to say, uh, and you want mm. you, you saying, uh, oh, God, that's a tough that's what right. I need to hear that's right there. Right now, I got a question for him, Coach B. What, Coach D, now I got a question. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Hey, should we come back? Should we come back to it, DJ? Oh, no, we finna sit and wait this out. He got plenty of time. Let's go. Let him think. You know what? Since 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 I'm since since I'm gonna take him in the foxhole and I'm gonna be the stud in the foxhole, I can't bring another stud with me. Okay, okay. Give me uh, give me give me the you don't remember my boy that he ain't dropped nothing. I don't care where you threw him. Wait, what his name was? Norman. What? what Norwood. You know? Norwood. There you go. Give oh, me Kevin Norwood. Norwood. <laughs> hey, he is right. He he is right. Side line, goal line, everywhere. He catching it. You, you that right. Boy ain't drop nothing, True. man. Give me Norwood, bro. Okay, okay. I, and I like, and I like your uh, definition behind the pick. I got you. Cause hey, like you said, you the stud on the field. Yeah, hey, I don't hey. need no more studs. I got you. Okay. Yeah. Give me, give me what you got over there for him, coach. All right. Okay, DJ. Start bench cut. Ooh. Start, Ooh. bench, cut. We got Drum roll. Julio. We got Julio. Julio, got, start. Oh, no. We got okay. Devontae Smith. Oh, <laughs> And you hear that, though, you Coach P. All oh, right. Yeah. So, and then it's we got Amari already. Cooper. Amari Cooper. Oh, man. Oh, man. Lord. Okay, start bench cut. Okay, like I told you, Jones gonna start for me. <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> who, wait, who? Who was? Oh, you said uh, Julio. Devont, who else? So you got Julio, Devonte Smith, and Amari Cooper. You got Mister. You got you got Devonte Smith, aka Mister Second and Twenty Six, Mister Heisman Trophy, Mister uh, Mister New Hall, as far as the records yeah. are received. Yeah. And you got Amari Cooper, the single handedly most uncheckable person I've seen at Alabama. When when I'm talking about one receiver on the field, and everybody in the stands know where the ball going, and they right. cannot stop this guy. Yeah. yeah, those two guys. Who who you who you who you benching and who you couldn't? Yeah, I'm those probably, two. I'm gonna probably bench Devontae and I'm gonna have to cut Coop. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and the only reason what? only reason I'm a, only reason I'm cutting Coop because he's too nice, bro. <laughs> okay, okay. Too and nice. I need you know what I'm saying, like when and, and when, I, when when I'm on that field, bro, I got to be able we we got to be able to Talk. We can't be helping folks up and doing all this other stuff. I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I got. I, mean, I, I guess that's his personality. He's a good guy, but on that field, I need emotion, expression. He don't give me that. Right and right, and we ain't discredit. And you ain't discrediting. You ain't discrediting that he did. I see what you're saying. That's just your motive and why you saying in the star bench cut. I'm, I, right. gotta get you. Right. I got you. Right. I got you. I got you. Uh. Coach B, you ain't got nothing for uh, the legendary DJ Bad to the Bone Coach Hall, B. do you? Or is he still B. over there muted? Coach up? B over there eating. Hey, I'm here, man. I'm here. I want to ask uh, the legendary Mr. Hall a question, man. Let's do it. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We hear you loud and clear. First of all, man, I want to say I uh, appreciate you taking your time, man. You know, coming out and spending time with us, you know, it's hard. Yeah. To, like they say, it's harder than a president to catch you. Man, I appreciate you for having me, boy. 
Man. Thank you. I just want to say thank you. I want to say, man, the question I want to ask you is, which wide receiver do you see in the league today skill set re- would best relate to your game in today's league? Today? Uh, I'm going to have to go with uh, old Hopkins, dog. DeAndre Hopkins. Ooh, Mr. Snag'em Hop. Yeah, I like yeah. that. that- all day, bro. Cause like I say, we ain't, he ain't got to be the fastest on the field. He gonna he gonna make it happen, bro. Yes, sir. That's you nice. Throw it my way. I'm bringing it in. Yes, yes sir. sir. And that go that go back to your other question, P. Who who I used to model myself after? Uh, and when in that league, bro, I was looking at number Larry Fitzgerald, bro. That's it. Okay. Oh, I like Larry Fitz. I, I can see. Fit. I can see you. I can see Larry in you. I was looking at Larry all day. I can see it. Yes, sir. Okay. Let me ask you this. Check out these receivers we got here. We got Ja'Cory Brooks, the little, oh, yeah. the the Iron Bowl hero. We got JoJo Earl, the slot technician. Hope we get. We hopefully he do his thing. We got Trayshawn Holden. You know, I always show potential. Hoping that he just going to break out and be, you know, what he can be. We got the speech to Christian Leary, one of the fastest on the team. Mm-hmm. We got Kyle jones Bell. We got new Aaron Anderson and Kendrick Law. <clears throat> but I, what I want to ask you is, okay, first of all, do you think, do, do you like, do you, are you familiar or like any of those guys that's already on on, on the roster right there? Do yeah, I like, I, I like, I like, that next, that I next like. Guy? I like JoJo. I feel like he need to get a few more touches, and and I and I do like Christian Leary. I like them two right now. Okay, okay. Now, with the guy, you know, we got two out the portal already. Yeah. Jermaine Burton yeah. from Georgia. Yes, and sir. we just got the speech to Tyler Harrell from yes, Louisville. Sir. Do you think either one of those guys could have the effect that Jamison Williams had for us, or was that just a one time thing? That was just. Us looking up until you got that injury. Do you think anybody? Do you think either one of those guys could have that effect? I'm gonna go ahead and be honest with you and say no. And I ain't gonna do Jameson no discredit because what he gave us last year was incredible, and it wasn't no easy task. So it's it's gonna take a lot for somebody to just jump in and think they can do it like that. And I don't I don't really see that happening. But as far as being an impact. Probably not as powerful, but I like old Jermaine Burton, bro, simply because he know what's going on over here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, he know the he know what's going on in the SEC. Right. You know what I'm saying? He he know how to get down with the nitty gritty, and he probably want to beat Georgia just as bad as we do now. So I'm I'm a right, ride right, 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 right. Even though we won't, even though I'm, I don't even think they'll even be even close to anywhere this year. We probably have to see somebody else out there east side for this next coming. Uh, situation, but uh, yeah, and I'm just not, and and I I ain't even caught up on the. Well, I ain't gonna even talk about him no more. That Texas boy, I'm just not getting a uh a, a message about him talking about Bama fan. Don't even don't even get me started on that. I ain't gonna even uh, do that no more. Yeah, yeah, we'll let the divas go and be divas, man. <laughs> we we just go. We, go we ain't gonna him. talk Bama fan, boy, for real. Yeah, hey, coach, P. yeah, like. Hey, coach, coach, can we get another question in from the from the fans, coach, Mr. Hall? Yeah, oh yeah, say? yeah. And I was just finna say that's why I was just finna ask if uh if, if y'all was through with y'all, of course I wanted to open up that floor and let anybody ask anything they want want to ask before we get out of here. Yeah, there was a question yeah, I got from a, uh, Drew Fields. You got it, coach. Uh DJ, who was who was the toughest uh cornerback that mm. you faced? Mm. Hold up before we answer that. It uh let him go. Let's get a. Let's get a. Uh, let's get a. Uh, on your team, far as in practice and far as in the other teams. Go ahead. Okay. So look, I'm gonna be real with you, and I ain't saying this. And I didn't have some. I didn't have multiple people ask me this question, right? Okay. And this. This ain't me. Bragging to toot my horn because I worked hard to get to where I got. You understand what gotcha. I'm saying? Gotcha. But when it comes as far as like I had better competition at practice. You understand what I'm saying? Like right. Right. Going against Bino Robinson, Anthony Madison, Charles, uh, 
Charlie Pepper, Roman Harper. Them all, all them boys is real deal. So when it came to the game, the game was it slowed down for me. Woo! And and for me to back this up is all you got to do is go look at them DBs, all the Corey Websters and my boy from Arkansas, bro. I had a hundred yards on all them folks. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So it was it was no DB that righteously came and just shut me down. You get what I'm saying? So right, right. I, oh, the stats don't lie. Talking, I just I can't give you no no DB that was that after the game. I was like, boy, this is the toughest game I ever had. Like, Woo, man, who you coming to? And I'm just so coach. Coach. coming hard at him, coach. No, I'm just this. This is what I'm saying. I'm just being real. And look, you can you can ask. Listen, bro. I had in in four years at Bama, I had five drops. You get what I'm saying? Woo! Documented. This on paper. Documented. Five drops in four years. Oh, the stats don't lie. You get what oh, I'm saying? Oh, we know this. I got it right so, here on paper. So, so when I when I'm saying it, like that, go back to when I tell you Shula practice was so hard. Like this, still back in practices where receivers get hit going across the middle. Right, right. At practice, right. though. At practice. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? This still that era. So practice was so hard when it came to the game, it was it slowed down. So gotcha. you got to understand, so understand, like, I went, the year I broke all them records, bro, I went seven straight years, I mean, seven straight games with 100 yards. Seven straight. Mm. Seven straight. People, see, this what y'all don't understand. The, the record books don't tell you six, but I went seven. Right. You and you was the first receiver to do it. You were the first receiver ever to do five in a row. Exactly. But I went I went seven. Cause they, and you scraped it out the seven, count. right. It, and it started with Southern Miss. You get what I'm saying? But, gotcha. but that's a, I'm going to tell you why that why that got uh, – that's, that's a whole other story. I don't even care nothing about that. But as far, I, that's why I'm trying to simply give credit to the to the, to the – old heads I played with, bro, because they molded me, bro. They got me right. When it came to Saturday, bro, it was damn near a walkthrough because practice had already been so intense. You know what I mean? Yeah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Gotcha. They make all the sense in the world. But I will say Corey, Corey Webster probably had the best skill set as far as, like, DB. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. He, had, he had nice footwork and stuff, but I even ate him up too. Okay. Okay. Played at Louisiana State, talking about that LSU. Yeah, LSU, bro. And listen. Yeah. And we're talking about a high draft pick, my boy. Yeah. Went to the Giants. And I went in in that in that year. I went to the Giants two years after him. When I when I got to the Giants. The boy met me at on the field now, and he say, "Hall, these boys don't know what you about to do to him, but I do." All right, he already remember. He already knew, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's dope, man. Hey, and that's not cocky, man. Like you said, that makes all the sense in the world. Like you said, by the time you get to, by the time you get to out there on Saturday, it's almost like a breath of fresh air compared to what you had to go through that week. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Dealing with them animals, I mean, like you said, coming across middles and watching your back and all that. Yeah, playing the mother guy but who you, don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, you. But but if you if you think about it now, why you think Bama's so good, bro? Like practice when you, when you go against the best. Every that's that's why I don't get why right. kids don't want to come and compete. I'm like, is you scared to compete because you you going against the best every day? By the time you get to wherever you're going, and you and then by the time you get say you do make it to the league, and you line up against the other person that's playing the position opposite opposite you on the field, that guy could dominate you so hard because you ain't used to that type of excellence. But if you already been going up for that for three, four years down right. here, come on now, man, you you used to that. Come on now, you might you might go to the league raw and and feel the strength of somebody, and you be like, oh lord. Cause you ain't felt nothing like that at say like a a a, a, a Listerine University. 
<laughs> a cold gate, a, a cold gate <laughs> junior college. <laughs> no, but now you done popped hey. up in the league, made it to the league, and you done felt Big Bruce, and he done made you more. You like, okay. oh, Lord. I told him, boy, I am not going to go to St. Mary's School of the Blind, bro. I'm going to Bama. Okay. Okay. And, and, and like you said, it took a three star and came out of there every bit of a five. Because, like I say, if that wasn't a five star performer, the, the, look, it, I, hey, before this, and that's what I, oh, let me go back to my bad, my bad. I, I forgot to tell everybody what the asterisk was about when I was naming off the uh, the, the records earlier. See y'all, see y'all let me slip there, Coach, Coach D. You, you ain't even said, hey, Coach, what those, let me tell you what those was for. Every guy I named that had that can't that that now owns a record that had that asterisk over their name, they're in the saving era. So every record I ran off was once DJ Hall's record. All those guys that had that by their name, they just came in this glorified era of beautiful Alabama football we got. But all those records was in the hand of one guy. And like yeah, I said, some of the records say like the catching in the game. People might say, okay, DJ tied for number one. But what you don't know, he also second, third, and fourth. Okay. At least, my bad, he also third and fourth. If he went for Julio getting a 12 in there. So that's what I say, man. Uh, that was, that was the whole asterisk was about. Like <clears throat> each, each record, this man is still second or third, no lower than fourth on all these records. But it's from guys that just came in in recent years that everybody of the show know. It ain't like these records that's been broke for 20. These records just getting broke during this era of unbelievable football, basically. Right. <laughs> and okay. like I said, during the era where the guy's getting 1,500 yards in a season. Bro, if you, if you, if you had over 40 catches back in them days, you was the man. Oh, uh, who you telling? I know. 40. B-Boy be having 40 in three games. In three games. <laughs> Especially when two was out there. Yes, sir. Feeding everybody. But uh man, like you like that, like they say, man. Hey, every shout out to you, Hall, man. You like they say it's it's kinda hard for a lot of people to get in touch with you. But one thing I'll tell you, it's never hard for me to get in touch with you. You always show me love. You to introduce me to that salt life, which is coming down to that 850, putting me on that water. I told him when I get this thing going, I was gonna have to have you on the show because yes, we deepen in the we deepen in the field, we deeper in the the video games we play as far as in the 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 call of duty and stuff from back in the day. We really got a relationship on a on a on a family type level. And I'm glad I can have you on, man. I know you don't even do this for folks for real. And I just, I, like I said, my man is living a great life. Enjoy, ain't, ain't said nothing that ain't got to do nothing with positive and all. The man ain't got to come, ain't got to do nothing but chill, get on those boats. And this man that came on here and did my podcast, I want to thank you for that. Anything yes, you want to say before I, before, you, before I give this closing speech? Man, hold, listen, on, man. hold on, 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 hold on. Oh, oh a slid in the back door. Oh, From the field oh, to the city, don't nothing get past yeah. Coach Nitty. Oh. oh, look, before we close this thing out, I could not get, hey, I'm on the road, running. I couldn't be a part of this thing early. I hate it, man, because DJ Hall is my guy. He knows we know it. Always we know it. it. It's the Nitty B. Hey, check this out. Check this out. Paul, I don't know if you know this, man. You a goat. You're a GOAT. I hey. want you to let nobody say, tell you different. You're a Fact. forever Alabama GOAT. GOAT. You need your flowers. They don't talk about you like they should. Facts. you the man. Facts. You started, hey, you was one of the ones that started this thing. And I, the question I had to ask you was, you was, with, you was down with the tide when we were, we weren't winning much. Right on them. But you, but you, but you brought them, you brought excitement and made us watch still, right? Right, right on. So check this out. When, when, when in 2007, when you realized Shula wasn't going to be there, we, we fired Shula, whatever the case may be, and they told you, you got the word that Nick Saban was about to be the new head coach. 
He came in, got off that plane, and everybody was excited. We didn't know what was coming. But I want to know, how was the players' reaction to saving – at the well, gate, and what was that first team meeting like when he could brought y'all? Could you tell, oh, it's about to be some diff- something different down here. This guy, real deal. Okay. I want right. your insight on that. That first team meeting now, and okay, he came so, to y'all and said, hey, this is what it is. This, okay, so this this how we knew shit was going to change. Right. The first team meeting. So we got 105 players in the meeting room. Saban come in there and say, I got 105 players. By next week, I want to have 95. Mm. And and we didn't know what he meant by that (laughs) until that first practice. It was his goal to run off the soft people. Mm. He's trying to break break them. He was trying to break all of us. You gotcha. understand what I'm saying? He was trying to break everybody. But that was that was one of the most gangstest things I ever heard a coach say. He didn't come in there and say, "Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I'm Nick Saban. I'm I'm looking forward to uh getting to know you guys, having y'all at my house and do all this." That man said, "I got 105 players. I want 95 mm. by next week." Mm. So. From from that moment when we walked out of there, we looked at each other. We were like, "Hey, if y'all ain't trying to come with it, but y'all better pack them bags tonight." Okay. The next the next day, we had thirty six one tens. How many, how many would you usually have? How many people you think we lost that first week? How, how many? You say you had thirty six. We had 36 one tens to run for the conditions. How, how, how many would how many would a normal practice would, would you consider being an okay day? How many would, would you would you be expecting to run? Bruh, one ten, we probably ran eight of them. That's a normal <laughs> day. <laughs> you probably run eight to ten of them with your position. That's a normal day. That's a conditioning test. You run ten of them and you got 15 seconds to make them. You got 30 seconds, bruh. And you you do that, bro. We did thirty six of them. See now you telling me eight to ten that put me in the mind. Now that let me know what that thirty six meant. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a but big you, jump. That's a big jump, but you gotta understand it worked. It worked because that in that week we lost twelve players. Mm. So it worked. What he was doing, it, it worked. He was he was trying to see who was tough enough to even be in his system. Right. So right. that right there alone set the tone for him. And and, and one thing I never take away, like I'm a, I'm gonna give y'all the inside scoop, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at this. A lot of people I know every everybody love Nick. I love Nick to this day. I ain't got nothing against him, but but this all I'm gonna say, and, and why I respect Nick. This this why I respect Coach Saban right here. He ain't no people person. He don't give a he don't care nothing about how your kids doing, how your grandma doing in the nursing home, all that. He don't care nothing about none of that. I don't care if he speak to you on the street, say your name. He done forgot you in two steps. He don't <laughs> care about none of that. All he care about is winning. So he treat, when I tell you, it. I thought like the first couple of days, you think like, oh, he just bashing the players, bashing the players. When I tell you, he, the reason I respect him to this day is because he treated the players and the coach the same way. If a coach messed up, he said, hey, do it again. You're at fire. Dang. On the spot. Mm. Dang. So, all that, when, when it comes to saving, you got to leave. He used to call him poor me. He, he, he don't care nobody. Leave that poor me at the house. I don't want to hear no poor me. He don't care nothing about how you feeling, how your girlfriend doing. She cheated on me. He don't care. The man is addicted to winning. Period. (laughs) And and that's all the info I'm going to give y'all on that. And that's why he fit in good at Alabama, because we're addicted to getting these dubs, baby. Okay. Roll time, baby. Roll it. Straight up. So I tell people all the time, if you got emotions, you can't come to Belmont. 
Because you're going to get your feelings hurt. Okay. Yeah, Saban is cut from that old cloth now. Yes, sir. The man told me, the, the man told me when I, he was at LSU on my visit. The man told me, he said, hey, he said, Hall, I want you to come here. I really do. But he said, I'm going to win with or without you. Woo! Woo I said, okay, I got you. <laughs> Say Ooh. less. Bro, for, for a coach to tell you that, that wants you to be on his team, come on now. Right. And after, so, uh, after my junior so year, and after, and after my junior year, when I set all them records, I was going to go to the league. I was out of here. Before I knew when, when, when Shula got fired, I was gone because I didn't even know what was going to happen. And I got a right. call. And I got a call from Nick. Nick called me on the personal line. He said, Hall, I think it'll benefit you if you stay one more year. I said, nah, coach, I got to go. I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't think I'm going to wait this year. He said, Hall, you remember what I told you when you came to uh, – Visit me in uh, LSU. He said, uh, I apologize. I'm going to take that back because I need to win with you this year. Mm. You, mm. And, and for a man who stuck on winning to say that to you, come on, bro. And you came back. Yeah, I came back, bro. And that's why I bond close to this day. People, yeah, he had he said some knocks on me and all that, but at the end of the day, the man gave me a chance. You get what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. And that's all you could ever ask for. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Exactly. Exactly. Well, said it. Said it from the goat himself. Speaking on the goat. DJ, bad to the bone. Deuce, deuce. Mister Hall, please say yes, the Mister. The record. I'm talking about them broke more records than your favorite DJ in any part of the region. Oh. I'm talking, ah, uh, and they ain't, and the man named DJ. What DJ is known for doing? Breaking records, man. Yes, sir. I just thought of that. Yes, sir. Ooh, chief. Yes, sir. A chief just kicked in. My inner chief just went to a thousand. The man named DJ. What DJs do? It's Break taking all records. these saving era all star ultimate. Hey. Six star players to chip in to try to get these records. These boys getting seventeen hundred yards in one year. Hey, coach, this what this what I need from y'all, man. When y'all out here talking to these young Bama studs, man, I know y'all have access to them, more access than I got. Sometimes y'all got to make these boys bring that Bama sci-fi back to the table, baby. Ooh. We need the real Bama sci-fi back, boy. When I was in school. Bama Sapphire was bigger than Kappa's, Q's, anything. <laughs> the best part on the best part on the yard. They got the brain back, Bama Sapphire, how it used to be, bro. Mm. Y'all do that for me when you talk to these youngsters, man. Hey, Hell. you know, you know, you know, I def you know, I definitely put in a word for it. I was almost honorary off the hoop squad. Come so on, I now. come on. I now. definitely gotta I definitely gotta speak. I didn't even know what was going down like that. I thought it was still live and vibrant, man. I be trying I be trying to mess with those guys from a distance, you know, trying to, you know, I'm trying to elevate to this grown man level, this right. grown man level of coaching. You know, I'd be down there partying with them like I'm still 18, man. I'd be okay. trying to keep a little bit. So I didn't even know Bama Sapphire went down like that, man. What's going on? Bruh, I don't be hearing about no parties, no step show, no b Sapphire week. Come on now. I'm talking y'all. Okay, before we get out of here, you around the land, if you, if you know anything about college, just think of whatever school you at, just take your best just take your 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 top uh frat and your top sorority who throw the best parties. Take one, two, take your top five frats that throw the best parties on your yard. Now take one through three and put them together to throw one big party and they go your Bama side five party at Alabama. <laughs> It was like three parties in one. I'm talking. This just a sport. This the sports that came together and made a okay. friend. And it's the baddest thing on the yard. Yes, sir. Now, at the time, if you can remember, DJ, them Deltas had crossed like 40-some girls. And yes. that was like crazy because, you know, they used to cross maybe like 
14, 15 or something. They crossed all those girls that year. I remember. So they had big parties too. I remember. They had some big, they had some nice parties, but with nothing messing with when them sports, when the sports combined and brought out that bounce. Oh man, now there was some parties. Come on, bro. Oh, that's crazy. So yeah, that's they all. ain't still doing it like that. They missing out on Alabama, uh, on the Alabama culture. Come on, bro. That's all I'm, that's, see, I ain't been able to speak to none of these youngsters, man, but that's, that's right. my only wish, bro. You get what I'm saying? Bring it. Bring Bama Sapphire back out, but we didn't got all these brands and these tattoos and Bama Sapphire, and y'all don't need to hold it down for us no more. Right. Cause now, cause y'all got a thing now. Every time Bro, Alabama has a football for? game, what'd you say? I said, what you think the foes is for? When you throwing the foes up, that's Bama Sapphire. And now listen, every time these folks have a game and a, a, a basketball, football, whatever, when when people come into town, when people come to see the games and all that, of course, at the end of that night, you're going to want to go party. You're going to want to go and see where the players at. You're going to want right. to go see, you know, everybody at. You ain't right. got to go to the Delta party to see if you see some football players. You ain't got mm-hmm. to go to the 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 Kappa party and see who right. else. You ain't got to go to the Q You go to their party. You go to our party. You go to the players' party. And it's, it's showtime like the Lakers. College come on. Time. Come on, <laughs> bro! I tell these folks, we was we was the you without the drugs, bro. Hey, it, it, saving, hey, knowing saving, he could have put an end to uh, that to that little situation because that, that. that was a real party. True that. You maybe maybe right. saving put an end to that. <laughs> you probably right because he. Did I ain't even thinking about. It. I'm just thinking of that while we talking. Just using common sense. You know what? It was going down so hard that maybe saving ended that. You hey, but, hey you man, probably yeah. right. You probably man, man, like I said, man, so good to have you on to hear your voice, man. Uh, I know those hey, man, man, let, me, let me let me just say this for y'all, man. I love what Talk y'all doing. I, I, I love what y'all doing, bro. Like the, you know what I'm saying? The, the see the see black yeah, black yeah. people. You know what I'm saying? Trying to do something different. Some different. You know what I'm saying? I, I I love to see this, bro. Like y'all keep keep doing what you're doing. Whatever I can do to promote the platform or. Whoever, whatever I need to do, bro, y'all let me know, bro. I love what y'all doing, man. Shout out to all the coaches. My boy, Nate. Hey, appreciate you know that. I love you like a brother. Come on. I'm looking appreciate forward Appreciate that. I'm looking forward and to it. And there's another thing hey, about um, you and the rest of y'all, bro. Hey, um, guess what? what? Hey, let me tell you one thing y'all these folks probably don't know about Hall. Go ahead. The man can really throw down. Like, he's not just throwing that down in that kitchen. The man need to in that kitchen. Right. Hey, let me tell you something, <laughs> Hall. <Paul. laughs> man. Shrimp balls, whatever you okay. want, that boy's a fool on the grill. Listen, I already listen, told him I was trying to put him in the kitchen somewhere. Listen, I told y'all him this. Y'all do this for me. Y'all if do he, this if for he me. Can't, if, he can't, if he can't cook no food, and guess what he going to do? He going to bathe the kitchen, too. He can show you everything you need to know about that water. That's why it's most important that we get back down to the A5 boat and get on that okay. water with you, man. And this is what y'all need to know. Y'all look out for me. I, I got my captain's license now. You know what I'm saying? So my charter business, Hall of Fame Charters. You already Talk know, and I'm and I'm finna get Hall of Fame catering. All I need y'all to do is show a little love when I'm up and running. Oh man, hey, when it look, she gonna shout that out one more time, Hall. That's Hall of Fame charters. If you're looking for a boat, you want to get on the pontoon boat. You want to get on the fishing charter. I can take you out. You want to go deep sea, catch marlin. You want to oh, get yeah. Goliath grouper. You want to catch red snapper, king mackerel, whatever you want, Woo. red snapper, anything. You call me, I'm gonna get the job done. Gotcha. Point blank. And if you need some food, Hall of Fame catering. I don't care what you need. Fat back, hog, mall. Uh, you want lasagna, jalapeno poppers, anything. You name it, I got you. All right. And it, and and we can vouch that. Right Definitely now. Vouch. Yes, sir. I love y'all, boy, man. Anytime y'all need me, call me, bro. Hey, like I said, man, like I said, shout out to you introducing me to Salt Life. That's that water, putting us on that water down there. That man I always, some of, out of all the players, everybody see me around all these players, especially the, uh, some of the newer guys and stuff. And everybody know they see me a lot with Bo, uh, Bo as well. But the, one of the guys that I've been with the longest around all this Alabama situation, all this, like I said, because it, it's, it's like family now. It's DJ Hall, man. And like I said, one more time, we just glad to have you on the show, man. And I mom even said, hey, when I told you we're going to have you on the show, she said, hey. So, yes, hey, one more time.
One more time for you, man. What you uh, what you did for the squad, what you did for the school. You a legend, like my man Coach Nita said. You are a goat. You ain't one. Hey, you can't do a Mount Rushmore at Bama without putting Hall on there. Okay. Because like I said, each one of these records that's getting plucked <coughs> one by one, because records are made to be broken. Yes, sir. But it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a while before somebody can just dominate it like hey, that. Like I tell these people. I tell them like this, P. I had 17 records at Belmont. I ain't break but three. The rest of them, I was the first. Mm. I ain't mm. break but three. I had 17. I ain't break but three. The rest of them, I was the first. Well, that's great. Give them so, an example. Like I tell them, the first guy to ever do 500 straight. I mean, five straight hundred yard games. Like you say, this is the first. He ain't break. He he just the first to do that. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, shout out to them young man. Things. I'm looking forward to a great season, man. Great season, man. And none of these stats made up. That's why I can tell you, baby. Hey, I ain't lying. I ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to you one more time, Hall. I can't say it enough times, man. Oh, we we try to keep this within an hour, but we know you coming on with the love and the fam, the fam, the fam rottery that it was gonna stretch a little longer, man. So we go go on, try to let you get back to your day, man. So glad you let us get you on this line, man, and and, and just show love to the Bama fan. Get a roll tie to you, man. I'm gonna get a roll tie for those folks out there. Yes, That's sir. Right. Roll tie, baby. Shout out to my boy Coach Needy, Coach B, Coach D. This unofficial biz with my boy. DJ Bad to the Bone Hall, the realest DJ in the land, Mr. Rocker Breaker, and we out of here, man. We'll see y'all next next week. Check us out with OJ Howard. Shout out to Cam Robinson coming through on the first week. It's Coach P, a.k.a. John Doe, one hand for the unofficial assistant coaches. You might know me as Coach Oos, honorary yes, Oos. Sir. And we will see y'all next week. Same time, same channel, only on the clubhouse. Holla at me. DJ, this for you, man. Bow! Roll time.